Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your Formula One race review at the British Grand Prix. Max Verstappen wins ahead of Lando Norris and Lewis Hamilton. And the start of the race, what a start by Lando Norris. Got ahead in the Red Bull, Max Verstappen, and then Oscar Piastri was piling on the pressure on Max Verstappen. And that was very nearly, Oscar Piastri could have made a brave move at Cox. and done like a Lewis Hamilton move, but he played it safe. He thought, do you know what, it's not worth the risk. But it took a couple laps, but Max Verstappen eventually cleared Lando Norris and had the race under full control, really. Then Max Verstappen, after he made the move on Lando Norris, but McLaren fighting near the front again. I mean, I am so happy, honestly. It's about time they started doing something. My second favourite team, because they had a torrid, really, for a long time now. It's just seen torrid, but it's great to see them back up there. It really is. Big up for McLaren. Well done. And another person I want to mention, Alex Albon. Absolutely superb. Overtaken Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari. I mean, what an unbelievable overtake on the Ferrari. Honestly, Ferrari's performance today, my favourite. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. One of the worst performances of the season, if not... The worst performance of the season. Honestly, shocking. No excuses by my team today. Awful. I mean, we just had absolutely no pace on the hard tyres whatsoever. Ninth and tenth, where we won at this circuit last year. Nowhere near good enough by my favourite team today. Honestly, embarrassing. Absolutely, but I'm not going to rant and rave about it because it's become the new normal now for me when this team just bottling it, honestly. It's, oh, but fair play to Williams, I third favourite team beating my favourite today. And second favourite as well, I can have no complaints. My favourites were shambolic. That's all I can say, honestly. Alpha Terry, I mean, that car is just awful. Aston Martin, shocking. No pace today whatsoever. A weekend to forget for them, honestly. Logan Sargent, P11. That's really decent. Again, fair play to Logan Sargent. I mean, that is one of his strongest Grand Prix again. I mean, Williams, that car in a straight line, though, is quite fast. Sergio Perez finishing P6. Some people be saying that's a good recovery joint, but to me, that's shocking. I mean, it's just... Honestly, you're in the Red Bull and you're struggling to get into Q3. I mean, what on earth is that all about, man? Seriously, by Checo Perez. Just, wow, unbelievable. The safety car come out because Kevin Magnussen had a mechanical failure, so... Full safety car, and my driver, Lewis Hamilton, got very, very lucky to get up to P3. He took full advantage of the full safety car, and Lando Norris defending like a lion to keep my driver at bay, because I thought my driver was going to breeze past Lando Norris on the softs, but McLaren... Now, my two subscribers, they were very unhappy when... McLaren put Lando Norris on the hards, but it's the right decision because Lando was able to hold off my driver, so absolutely brilliant strategy by McLaren. Honestly, Oscar Piastri, now he was very unlucky not to be on the podium. It's a fantastic performance by him this weekend. Unfortunately, he got shafted by the safety car. And another one he got shafted to find the safety car. George Russell, I mean, wow. He was ahead to lose Hamilton most of the race. Hamilton was really struggling in the first half of the race, my joiner, but 
he ended up getting the job done in the end, getting on that podium, but he had some luck, my driver, I'm not going to lie. And Oscar Piastri was kind of robbed, in my opinion, but it is what it is. But race rating, probably going to hit about, what, 6 out of 10. I don't think it was a very exciting Grand Prix at all. The research was more exciting, though, after the safety car come in. There was loads of overtaking, honestly. And that move, what Alex Albon did on Carlos Sainz, wow, such a brave move. Wow, unbelievable. Williams definitely improving. McLaren fighting in the grunts again. Absolutely amazing. But my favourite, absolutely pathetic. But I'm not going to go on a big rant about it because I just kind of got used to my favourite doing shit things now. So here's what it is. But the Ferrari hypercar team, P2 in the Monza race, I mean, at least they're doing something good for us Scudiera fans, honestly. Ferrari, oh, absolute clown show, honestly, by my favourite. Comment your thoughts down below, I will always reply. And join me tomorrow for drawing the ratings and team ratings. I think we all know who is going to get worst team of the weekend. And it's by different contrast to the last Grand Prix between who I gained best team and worst team. Honestly, completely different contrast. Let me think which team who that is who's going to get worst team of the weekend. Stay tuned and find out. Oh yeah, I just showed my Lewis Hamilton shirt quickly. Just turn the camera. There, like, Lewis. Yep, I've been wearing this over the weekend as it's the British Grand Prix, but yeah. Pathetic. Sort yourself out. Bye-bye.